Well, this is kind of weird, but I kind of agree with Christy. Maddie and Mackenzie will be competing against each other. Yay, Mackenzie! Hip hop. Ab, what do I have to do to get Mackenzie to dance again? I know, honey, but you know what? You're fabulous. Mackenzie, the name of your piece is Who Are You? Without being Maddie's little sister, who are you? Well, that's what we need to find out. Is she just Maddie's little sister now? What happened to this pop star that was on the rise? What happened to all the things she was going to do? It seems like Maddie's doing it all. You forgot the Chug arabesque. Thinking too much? I don't think you're thinking enough. Maybe this homeschool thing isn't for you. What do you mean? She's, what do you mean the homeschooling thing's not good enough for her? She can't remember a two minute number, Melissa. She can remember a number. She does it all the time. She's, she's smart. She's a lot smarter than Maddie is educationally. No, because you are smart, Mackenzie. Very smart. I think it's really hard to learn new choreography when she's yelling at me and comparing me to Maddie. Oh, there she is. This dance is probably the hardest dance I think you've ever done, ever. You're probably so. when she compares me to Maddie. I know, honey, but you know what? You're fabulous. And you know I know that. I'm proud of you. And you nailed this. Okay. Okay, good luck. Mackenzie's dance this week is definitely more mature. With Maddie being gone this week, this gives Mackenzie a real opportunity to shine. So take this breath of life, and from the ashes we will rise. Woo! Our second overall goes to Mackenzie lost to JoJo, no surprise to me. JoJo is hungry. It must be kind of hard for, especially you two, since you guys are like sisters. <laughs> if you were me and your sister was Maddie, you would not want to be with your sister every second of the day. <laughs> is it kind of hard always being compared to Maddie McKenzie? I don't really like being compared to Maddie because I want to be my own self. I don't yeah. want to be just like Matt. <laughs> I don't want to be just like Maddie. I want to be Mackenzie, not Maddie, because she's like, you have to dance like Maddie. I said, well, I, what are you doing? I'm nothing. I'm not doing anything. And I said, well, <laughs> I want to dance like me. They have very different styles of dance. I just want to make her amazing. Maddie's but, like lyrical, and you're like acro. acro. I'm like hip hop. <laughs> I remember that time when Abby put Maddie against Mackenzie at the last minute. Well, I thought I was going to win, but then Maddie had to win because she... I'm sorry. I'm sorry I won. OK, well, let's take a look. Mackenzie did fabulous, and this is Mackenzie's day. But it's not Mackenzie's day because you took it away from her. You never stand up for her. You're like, it's more important for Maddie to dance than to protect Mackenzie. If I were Melissa, I would say, it's not Maddie's week to do a solo. She just robbed Mackenzie of any chance she had of a solo at nationals. I heard her in the hall say, oh, it's always about Maddie. And you're like, no, Kenzie, it's not about, but it is because you never open your mouth and protect Mackenzie. Well, this is kind of weird, but I kind of agree with Christy. You can be honest. What are you looking at me for? Don't even say it, because it's really Say not. what you want to say. It's your opinion. Abby. Yeah. Because sometimes. I do something, and then she makes Maddie show it mm -hmm. to me, and it kind of gets annoying. Oh, you can tell when Kenzie gets mad at Abby. I get so mad. Like, I get she mad. goes, go out of the room, and come back in, and put a smile on her face. And, and I... you came back in, and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> Philip, we're going to put you with Mackenzie. Mackenzie's with this little boy. He's darling, and I'm sure he's very good at what he does, but he has to drop her down on her split, pick her back up, I, I don't think he can pick up his backpack. One, two, three, and four. Back five, six, seven, and eight. We're watching the boys and the girls starting to rehearse together. 
and Mackenzie's partner is a bit clueless. What's wrong? What's wrong? You know it perfectly. <laughs> Why? Well, okay, well... Yes, you can. Mackenzie, you look great. Mackenzie, yeah. you look great. Can we try it one more time? Are you ready to do it, Mackenzie? What's wrong, babe? Yes, you are. I'm not ready. Yeah, I'm small. I'm not ready. <laughs> Mackenzie runs out of the group, over to mommy, crying, big temper tantrum, because she doesn't want to do it. She's not ready. She doesn't want to do it. She's not ready. Listen to me. You cannot act like this and cry because you become difficult to work with. People don't want to work with kids that are difficult. You are a professional. You are representing me. If I didn't think you could do the dance, you wouldn't have been at the audition. Right now, we're in a professional atmosphere. I cannot have Mackenzie crying on set. She is going to ruin her reputation in this business before it even starts. Maddie, you're going to go with Philip. Nia, you're going to go with Anthony. Yes. Let's try that split. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Drop one. Up. Oh. Philip, you got to hold her, bud. I filled in for Mackenzie. I wanted to help out. I can dance with anybody. Do you want to try it with um, Anthony or Ethan? Yeah. Let's try it with Anthony. Let's try it from the top. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, up one. That was better, Mackenzie. You see, you know it. I just cry sometimes. It's no big deal. Maddie and Mackenzie will be competing against each other. Mackenzie, you are doing one of Maddie's old solos. This is the very first time that Maddie and Mackenzie will be competing for the overall solo award. What am I thinking? Well, I'm thinking it's time for a change. OK, these look old to me. That was my. She could still, she could still get into this. Here, move. Now, Mackenzie, are you going to fill Maddie's shoes? And we step up to PK Arabesque. And then we jump, we towards the tables. PK, PK onto that foot. Straight. Praying. Uh-uh, uh-uh, you just did this again. With just, the top just of stop your after, head. just stop, stop after praying. Your down. Pull your body down and your head up. Arch your back. Let's get Maddie in here and see if she remembers it. That'll be interesting. What do you think of Mackenzie dancing under Maddie, or in the same category, right up against her? What, well, and she's doing her old solo. I mean, it's going to happen. That's how it is now, because they're 9 to 11. When Maddie dances, she's a breath of fresh air. You're like the stuff we spray in the bathroom. There's a difference. I'm pushing Mackenzie hard this week. I don't want her just to win this week. I want her to win big. I want her to be a name, not just Maddie's little sister. So you need to just show Abby that you can do more than just cheesy jazz and cutesy dances. You have to do lyrical and emotion. I know, so she keeps saying that I have to do like it, like you, but I'm not you. I'm just trying to help Mackenzie because after all, I won first place with that dance and I'm an expert at the Maddie face. Show me the Maddie face. It has to be like. I don't know, you're... they all look the same. They all look like Mackenzie, Mackenzie, Mackenzie. You go out there and you meet Mackenzie, you don't need to be Maddie. All right, moving right along, we have act number 22, Mackenzie in Pride. She was beautiful. Her faces were so sweet, and she smiled when she had to, and her turns were so good. I didn't think of Maddie one time when Mackenzie was doing the cry solo. Second overall goes to contestant number 22, Cry. And our first overall, our highest scoring solo here is 23, The Game of Love. Ken's, come here. So what did Mackenzie? the savvy say to you? She said, why are you letting 
Christy and Aiden come into here and take my spot. But you're, what did you say? I'm an eight-year-old kid. What am I supposed to do? She wants you to, to go do something about it. Okay. Not me. She wants you. OK, but what am I supposed to do about it, Kenzie? I'm going to talk to Miss Abby about it, because it's ridiculous. Okay. You're a team member. You're fine. You need to be in this dance. I have to convince Abby to let Mackenzie dance. I'm not allowing this new Christy to come in and just take over. Ab, what do I have to do to get Mackenzie to dance again? I mean, I really think that she needs to go on The View. I just feel like you're replacing Mackenzie, and you don't want her any on, in the group anymore. And she really wants to dance so bad. And I've been very dedicated to you. I would do anything you ask This isn't about you. She just danced like a little kid. She's like, she's, she's just eight. doing her. I gave her one older routine this season, and mm -hmm. she forgot it and stood on stage. But you, well, I think she draws eyes. I think she's too short. She's, she's, a, she's a foot shorter. I know, but she wants it. Her mother wants it. Mackenzie wants it, too. I really I, have to see the song. But this is about Mackenzie. I want her to dance, and she wants well, to dance out. Asia, come on. I'm definitely frustrated, because Abby's like, nope, Asia's here. She's going to dance. Mackenzie solo is entitled, I just want to sit on the couch and eat chips. She's lazy. Mackenzie, technically, should dance like an 11-year-old. It's the legs not being straight, the feet not being stretched, the arms not being properly placed. So this routine is going to push that kid to the next level. It's going to make her a stronger dancer. So get here and flex your feet up in the air. I keep almost getting kicked. Why am I almost getting kicked? Come on. If this was your sister, we would be halfway finished with the number. Well, she's not. Her name's Mackenzie, and she's not Maddie. So, whatever. And what's the name of your dance? It is called, I, I Just Want to Stay at Home and Eat Chips. No. She can't even remember the name of the dance. I just want to sit on the couch and eat chips. Hence, the couch. Is this not a couch? Could be a sofa. Could be a love seat. I just thought it would be like my interview. No. I thought it was, I just want to stay home and eat chips. All I want to do is just stay home and eat chips. Go. No. So the little smart ass is trying to tell me that that's not the quote that she said, that we're wrong. I'm not going to have Abby be mean to my daughter anymore. I can't do it. Abby's not perfect. That's for sure. Abby, why would you call Mackenzie a smart ass? Why? Because she Because she's said... trying to contradict me. No, she about... said I thought it was, I wanted to stay at home and eat chips, because that's what I thought it was, too. You don't have to call her smart ass. Well, but you didn't hear the way she said it. OK, but I don't think you should call her smart ass. I'll never call her anything again. She said other kids would just remember it Kenzie. in two minutes. And she's like, OK, well, we have Kenzie. 20 Kenzie. seconds Kenzie. done. Just calm down. Kenzie, you know how this goes. She's just being mean and rude, but she always is. I just do it. Abby needs to take something out on someone, and she's taking it out on us. My last solo for this week. Goes to Mackenzie. Yay, Mackenzie! Hip hop. Actually, you are doing hoedown, showdown. A gymnastic routine, it's what you do. Mackenzie's amazing at hip hop. You should let them all three do hip hop. I have never done a hip hop solo. And I feel like I'm really improving in hip hop, so I hope she changes her mind. I do gymnastics every single time. Okay, so then you're not going to do a solo. That's what's going to happen. Kenzie's only here for a few more weeks. She's never done a hip hop solo. Stop she wants down. to do a hip hop solo. I mean, it's not like she's going to be able to have multiple opportunities after you know this season to do yes. a hip hop solo. We almost had a normal pyramid and without someone storming out. Almost. Abby knows full well that Mackenzie has been dying for a hip hop solo. This is one way for Abby to get back at Melissa by giving everyone else a hip hop solo except Mackenzie. You know, the fact that you have never, ever in five years asked for a solo. You know? And you asked, and she did that, is a shame. What do you have to lose? This is the right thing to do. Say something. Why wouldn't you? You're right. I'm going to stand up for my daughter. That's it. We only have three weeks left. I don't want Mackenzie to lose this opportunity. She's the best hip hopper on the whole team. I just want to talk to you real quick.
I'm done. That woman is crazy. Well, we have the Fire Queen, which will be played by Maddie, and the Ice Queen played by Cold Hearted Snake over there. Mackenzie, you're the sisters. You're dueling. You fight to the end. I'm super excited because I've always wanted to battle her in a dance. Everyone knows that I'm the winner. Girls, OK, everyone listen to me. It's going to be an amazing number if you can pull out the acting skills. Let's go. Act number 66, entitled Winter's War. I love the dance. I just wish there wasn't a pile of blue fabric on the floor, because that was a little distracting. Were the costumes enough to make a difference? Possibly. In second place, we have at number 66, Winter's War. This solo is really hard, because it has a lot of tricks in it. And I'm a little nervous that I'm not going to hit all of them. Up next is act number 32. Please welcome Mackenzie to the stage. Mackenzie was close to perfection, and I don't say that very often. It was great. Head and shoulders above the rest of her competition. Come on, she's Maddie. And in second place, Maddie. Hey, Maddie! Kenzie's like, I didn't place. I'm shocked that Maddie got second with the tap dance. Come on. But I'm even more shocked that Mackenzie didn't even place. She should have at least made the top five. And our first place junior soloist in the class division is number 32, sink or swim, Mackenzie.